Hello everybody, my name is Adlao and today I will discuss to you another topic and that is social reconstructionism. A social reconstructionism will simply talk about a philosophy of education that emphasizes in addressing the social question and a quest to create a better society and worldwide democracy. Another term is that reconstructionist. A reconstructionist is, that is you as a future teacher or you as a teacher, reconstructionist educators focus on the curriculum that highlights social reform as the aim of education. Are you that type of teacher? Then this philosophy is for you. They are really known with the tagline of having a social reform. All right, today I'll be discussing to you this lesson for you to really understand and for you to appreciate also this philosophy of education because this type of educators that we need nowadays. All right, so let me just share my screen this time. I am already in my screen and you can see this presentation and um, I will give you a best practices and also your role as, as a teacher of being a social reconstructionist. So do not get confused of reconstructionism itself and also the social reconstructionist because they have the same thought or the same explanation in education um, sector. So I will first discuss to you this um, um, concept, the social reconstruction, uh, reconstructionism for you. All right, this is your beliefs as a reconstructionist is believe in education should focus on problems of society and how to resolve them. All right, if you are this type of teacher, then you are a reconstructionist teacher. You're, the aim of your curriculum or teaching is to be for social reform. Believe teachers should be facilitate critical analysis and societal problems for students. Just an example for racism, um, for sexism, and also with uh, the very common problem that we're experiencing right now is the inclusive education for the LGBTQ. Another is the things students should think in terms of we and us instead of me and them. All right. So this type of teachers really uh, get involved with the social, social um, um, with the society. Just an example, if they think that this is not in according to the to the rule of uh, to the law, and then they are going to change the system. Right? That is what we call uh, uh, that is being a reconstructionist teacher. And they are not just um, they are not that selfish because. They only talk about we and us, not only yung teacher lang, and also not uh, hindi sila blameless. If you are a reconstructionist teacher, believe in giving students some control over the topics of the class. All right, the social reconstructionist is um it's a typical uh, teacher center because they have their ano um mode of teaching like. I, uh, my curriculum should focus on the social reform. So that means social reconstructionism is really a teacher centered. And another is agree with ideas in this presentation. Then the social reconstructionism is most likely the philosophy of education you want to follow uh, and practice in your classroom. So if you really want a change, example, if your first day of class is uh, your type of student is uh, we have, you have very diverse students and they have their own uh, behavior. Then you, as a teacher, you are going to make changes on that behavior or in their attitude and their way of learning. So that is uh, being a reconstructionist teacher. So not just the not just the classroom, but also but also the the, the, the community. Right? If they think that the community is not following the standard, then they're going to make um, an action on that. They will just, hindi lang sila yung titingin, hindi lang sila yung ano, itong type ng teacher na ito is hindi lang sila titingin sa kung anong meron, but they are going to change the system in according to the rule of law. Right? So that is an introduction of this topic. So next is, um, I'll be sharing to you the different uh, philosopher 
right? The different philosophers that really engage with this um, lesson. All right. But before that, but before I will introduce to you the different uh, philosophers really introduces the social reconstructionism. This is the social. Um, reconstructionism asks the teacher to become agents of social change instead of perpetuating the status. That is what I am saying. The, this is according to parts in 2006 that they will not just sit and teach but also they are this uh, uh, type of teacher that they want changes if kailangan ng changes naman. And it had its roots to progressive education movement and form its own philosophy when it split away from the progressive movement as its name implies social reconstructions and focuses on the society and its problems and attempts to reconstruct from the word reconstruct babaguhin so, uh, the society without uh, these problems. So if they think that this this uh, this is a problem in a society then they are going to take an action they are going to plan but not just on their own but also uh, but, but by 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 um, consulting and by asking by, by by giving suggestion right so that is social reconstructionism what is the goal of uh, being a reconstructionist teacher first is to critically analyze the social issues in society so that's why we really need this um, type of teacher nowadays that they are going to, to take a look at the problems to, to analyze the problem of the society uh, like what I've mentioned a while ago in terms of poverty and who can you put in my tunong as a teacher is to those students who cannot afford uh, for their transportations so they will really uh, make suggestions to the principals also for the race, uh, racism and sexism and other issues in the in a society next is to promote cooperative culture in multicultural society so if nakita nila yung students na hindi siya ganit involved and they are going to take action on that they will not just sit and um just teach the lesson but they make an action instead right for multi multicultural society Set, third one third goal is to resolve social inequities in an effort to reconstruct society into one that is just and fair right so that's why we need this type of teacher so if you think that if you are this type of teacher then you, you comment down below okay so that is simply the goal um that's what i've mentioned i'll be presenting to you the different proponent who really gives us an idea as to how to become a social reconstructionist teacher and I'm not saying that because look, we have our own philosophy. So it's it's our own way of teaching. It's our um, perspective of being a teacher. So I will introduce George Pounds. According to George Pounds, ang sinasabi niya lang dito sa social reconstructionism is there to school build new school order. Right. So if they think na yung school is hindi na ganun ka work, ay hindi nag-work, hindi na ganun ka maayos yung system, then kailangan niyang baguhin. Kailangan niyang mag-introduce ng bagong system for the school. So, there to school you build. And hindi siya natatakot na mag- really, ano, to really share his or her thoughts just to change the system. Alright. May kilala ka ba na ganyan type of teacher? I want you to comment down below. And that is according to George Pounds. Second is, I will not read in more this one because this, uh, no? Second is si Paolo Ferrer. Okay, si pa Paolo is accordingly that education is freedom, right? Education is freedom. Why? Because we have the rights of everything, right? We have the right to learn. We have the right, right to access information. We have the right to read books. We have the right to, to, to visit schools. And that is the social reconstructionism. And my next philosopher is Theodore Bremel. All right, Theodore Bremel is the founder, the founder of social reconstructionism. Bremel was an American educator and philosopher who often are uh, credited as a founder of social reconstructionism. He was a highly influenced by George Pounds. Uh, Bremel believed schools should to lead. Uh, I mean, the schools should to lead to social and political change right so are we doing that 
uh, we are we following this philosophy na uh, we are healthy the community we are helping the society then we are a constructionist teacher right so um these are some practices these are some research uh in social reconstructionist and um from i am from a very small town this is an example um a social reconstructionist and multicultural education this is by margaret and lw parks so the result of this research Uh, our peer research is part did study examining how aware students were aware and white privilege and racism and second is she focused on whites because the school she teaches at composed mainly of white students so don't pinitingnan nila yung mga problem isa isa okay then in her multicultural education class she had the students analyze society racism culture power and oppression So this is the paper of um, this researcher. Second is this one. Another uh, topic about social reconstructionism. This is by Daisy Fred Red and Michael Davis. Accordingly, now this is the result of their research. Red and Davis, how social reconstructionism can be used to help poor urban students. Red. Once the main ideas is using the social reconstructionism to make these urban students resilient. So they are really into a fair and just society. Resilient students take accountability for their success or failure and do not use the economic or social status as an excuse. All right. And this is the paper of uh, Daisy and um, David. All right. So this is their paper. And that is, um, I think, a social reconstructionism. Again, I want you to remember the tagline of social reform. All right, you you care about the society, you care about your students, you care about the school community, and you care about the people because your primary goal is to give fair and just community and society. All right. So that ends my presentations, and these are my references. Thank you so much for staying. I hope that you learned something new today and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.